Hello, welcome back. This is Grillenheimer. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks for following Transformer TCG friends. Um, I've, I've been, I finally got some of my these uh, D counter cards and uh, the action some of the action cards and uh, upgrades printed out but was actually trying them out a little bit uh there might be a little a, a change or two it's not going to be much uh just mainly the destructive counteraction card itself i think needs a little help even though it, you, you can get them on the flip because as they get, do have a green pip um i might add it in there where you if if when you play one you can play another one so um that would really help this other than that, they're really fun to play. Um, they really are fun to play. And I had, um, and I was actually testing some stuff that I had with, because I had a Wheeljack and Wave 1 Swoop and Wave 1 Grimlock uh, as a team. And I gave them uh, just a, a little bit of that. And I also had the, Grimlock sword uh, from the Ark, I think, or Bayformers. I had that in the mix. I had the the mm, Forge of Solus Prime in there, uh, and a couple of things. They were a very heavy orange deck. They won every time. Um, in th and then on the other side, I had th a thrust. Wind Sweeper and um, Flame and a Flame War on the in, on the other team, and they were mo they're they're a mainly a blue deck, uh, so they they did have a lot of tough going for them. Uh, both sides both actually had a copy of the phase the phase shifter. Uh, that came into play uh, to some extent, and the the, this, the Decepticon team was just losing, losing big time. Um, just in, like I said again, they were majority blue pip cards. Um, they were using the phase phase shifter <laughs> um, and a couple of other things. Uh, I had the dark matrix in there the tainted matrix in there uh and some other cards that really required to have a leader trait to really be fully utilized and none of those characters are leaders and then two i don't have I, I cannot find a copy of my floating throne to help rectify that to put it on a character to get a little leader trait and get some of this stuff um to to trigger and it would have helped them some i don't know if it would have won the game uh but I, i've got to print out some more floating thrones um but uh, otherwise i will just admit they're fun to play with uh they work um the flow isn't that bad uh i had because you know, the Mega Charge is an orange pip. And the Mega Charge, you can get two D, two D counters on, on an upgrade. The Destructive Counter is a blue pip, a blue-green pip. Um, and so you can get them on the, get them on the fly, get them on the flip, and uh, which, which helps. But so you can only get one on a on thing. And I thought, you know, to help this along instead of hoping for a, a brainstorm uh, that I decided to, it, it's like, and I even played it that way in because I'm just simply testing this stuff out. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, let's, um, uh, and I started playing the destructive counter card as if it had printed on there. It, when you play this, you can play another one that helped. So I'm going to make that change. Um, and, oh gosh, there's another change. That's right, that's right. Because I had a, a good many other, I almost said third party, homemade cards 
trying to help the Decepticons out from Buddy's Matrix to my Matrix to, um, oh gosh. It's like, you know, it's got three pip colors. Each pip has a different little thing in it where if it's a melee, you can do something. If it's a specialist, you can flip it. Um, if, no, if, if it's a melee character, I think you can move one damage over to an enemy. If it's a specialist, you can flip it. So I was able to get a free flip out of Flame War out of that, which is probably its intent. And um, I forgot the name of it. And I had another in Die Autobots, which is another homemade card. Think from the arc where you can give your Decepticons plus two to attack and negative two to an Autobot when you're fighting an Autobot. Well, that was what was this was going on here. So, but on the bottom of that card, it says your enemy's defense cannot be greater than zero or something to that effect. And I'm like, I need to put this on my scraplets because that's very pertinent. And when I was going over my scraplets and, and explaining to y'all how I was, I've, I've been playing them wrong. Um, uh, so where, yes, you can play a scraplet card and then play your two others if you have them, but if your def if if your uh, de defender doesn't have three a total of three defense, you're not going to get that all that uh, three attack out of them. So there's that. So I need to add that blurb onto my scraplet card. Uh, all this stuff seems to be really working and and working fairly well. I'm sure there's ways it could be taken advantage of. Uh, I just don't know how to make a deck like that, or I don't have that kind of time. Um, and I'm having to get out, and I had to get some stuff, some wood and stuff for a project for my son. I'm probably going to be helping him with that. i got to get me some more shoes, uh, because my shoes are like three years old and just falling apart. i got holes in them. Um, i got to replace some bulbs in the house, like you wouldn't believe, uh, especially uh, from a uh, chandelier and other other places we still have christmas stuff to put up um i gotta go out and get groceries it never ends um and i really need to be work maintaining these car uh the automobiles um which i had our van that this this vehicle looked at just two weeks ago and it still needs a tune-up uh and it's I, 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 or may, if I can change out the spark plugs myself, uh, I probably, I mean, I've done it before. It's just the way the, the, the back three are located are sort of hard to get in and out. Um, but just a lot of things I need to be, be doing. So, and it just keeps me busy. It just keeps me busy. Uh, I don't have time to make good decks. So w whether it's that or, or getting my kids back to, to school and back, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I mean, I could, I could, I could tell you all my, every little problem, but I'm not, I'm not, it's just, it just never ends. Life never ends. Um, so with that, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. More Transformer T, uh, TCG st stuff coming. I mean, uh, oh my gosh. I, I've been I've been making cards like you wouldn't believe, and I've been taking I don't I don't scan anything, so these pictures aren't that great. But uh, I've taken a few pictures from some old comics, and oh, it was a car. I thought it was a person running by. Um, out, out of out of the comics, and I'm making a few um, battle cards out of some of the artwork out of some of the of various comics. Uh, one upcoming is Arc Merged, I believe that is how I've called it. And another one is, well, I'll just say it's kind of, it's going to help. A again, you're going to have to look at your sub-function. You know, you got your name, you got your function. Uh, you're going to have to watch out for medics and engineers and infantry. So you, you need to be start uh, uh, looking at, at that verbiage too, because I'm getting that incorporated in all this as well which I have before on a previous card. Um, so, gone 10 minutes. Didn't mean to go this long. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day, friends. As always, 
Autobots, let's transform and roll out.